What's up boys? Today I'm checking out the point .6 update for Crafty Survivors. This game has some very unique and interesting classes available. So let's go to this area I've recently unlocked up here. And then you can see the classes. There's a chef, a sculptor, and a seamstress. And they have very unique abilities. So let's try out the chef here. Raise the difficulty a bit and see how that goes. Not sure how this map works, so I'm not going to do the absolute max, but I will try out fairly high here. And the chef has a unique mechanic. I'm not sure if I can show that again, but you need to apply three different stacks to enemies, but your basic attack applies one, so you need two more, either roasted and spiced or frosted and candied. And then you can get stacks for the serve skill, which is a large AoE that deals a lot of damage and it scales up with even more stacks, but it consumes all of them. And I believe there's some other upgrades you get that later on, and you can add some healing or something to it as well. But for now I just want to get some more abilities so I can actually automatically kill people a bit. Well, not people, but bruises. That made me sound a little bit psycho. So since it's fairly high difficulty, it does take me a while to kill stuff, but once I get some abilities it won't be quite as bad. So skill cooldown does nothing currently, an oven in the direction that spews flames all around it. Sounds pretty good, also lights them on fire. I like persistent effects like that. Sphere made of caramel, dealing damage to enemies when it hits the ground. Handful of black pepper in the cone. Let's go with the oven and stack a bunch of persistent effects to protect me. And then now I'm leveling up much faster. An additional oven sounds great. Raining in a small area. That also sounds pretty good. Let's grab that and double the effect. You can actually have your active skills as either active or autocast. I just think I like having them on autocast typically. So peppercorn poof, that actually combos with the roasting time to get Sriracha Meteor. Sphere of Sriracha sauce at the direction you are aiming explodes upon impact. Additional enemies in a cone behind the first target, sounds kind of cool. Other than that, I'd be able to add burn, which would be pretty cool. Icing thrower, cinnamon spikes, let's get the combo thing here. Salt rain, overcooked, enemies affected by spice, extra damage, and that's applied by that. Anyways, attack speed. Let's grab this to get the burn for this and the meteor that I can now get later on. Caramel drop, knife, icing thrower, peppercorn poof, plus two charges. I'm not sure I really want that. I definitely want the meteor somewhere, and then I probably want the fridge since that creates a persistent effect as well. But I could also go for... No, I want the meteor so I don't have room to get two into a combo. So let's not bother with those and just take the level up on the peppercorn poof. What other debuff do I need for that? Roasted and spice, so I can actually already start getting stacks for it. I just have to hit with both of my abilities and my knife. So that's a little bit difficult, especially if enemies are dying quickly. So we got knife, flambe, frying pan in the direction. He's affected by spiced. Maybe I'll take that to go with the burn passive that I have, or I'm planning to get later anyways. I don't remember if I did get it. And that pulls enemies in and burns them, so that should be pretty helpful. So icing thrower, an additional oven and damage by 50% sounds pretty insane. Let's take that upgrade. Yeah. <laughs> 
serve has a 5% chance of healing one heart. Okay, so that's the upgrade I was talking about with the heal. But that's kind of hard to use. Skill cooldown would be quite good. Burn damage would also be pretty nice. But I think I do want the fridge because it's a persistent effect and you can get some pretty nice upgrades for that. Definitely want cooldown as well, though. Caramel, Overcooked, Burn would be pretty cool. Suction Power of the Pan. I think I like that since I'm going to be having two or three fire skills here. So I'm building a little bit of charges towards my ultimate now, but you need 20 to use it. A rotating knife, peppercorn, area of effect on the fridge would be pretty good. What can I get over there? Skill cooldown of peppercorn and salt rain. That would actually be pretty good. So I might want to look for salt rain. Nah, probably just the meteor. Uh, let's take that. That's a pretty big increase to the AoE on the bridge. Now my kitchen appliances are just wreaking havoc everywhere. Salt debuff, salt rain, overcooked. Let's take the burn upgrade since I'll have a lot of skills to go with that. Die, Armadillo. Attack speed, cinnamon spikes, peppercorn poof. I don't think I really want any of those, so I'm just going to take the upgrade here. Critical hit, spice damage, serve healing. I don't think I care about any of these that much, so probably just the crit or the spice damage. This could potentially get me skill damage over there, which might be useful, so... Longer period of time and then exploding. I do want the meteor and I want cooldown as well but I'm gonna lock this in for now, so I can check that out. Critical hit chance by 5%, eh, it's fine. Probably use some cooldown now. Attack speed, suction power of the pan. Yeah, let's grab the cooldown. We've got five skills now, and I'm heavily reliant on those, so that'll be pretty helpful. Suction power, the oven upgrade. I think I like the oven. 35% chance for frozen. That would be very helpful with the fridge, though. Do you like me some more crowd control? And now that plus the suction on the pan should help control enemies a lot. Suction power of the pan, more cooldown. I think I like the cooldown. Got 
got the Peppercorn Poof, Chance of Inflicting Frozen, Extra Burst. Let's get the Extra Burst, that will give me more damage and more freezing. And let's check out this active ability now that I have enough charges for it. It's like a fairly small AoE effect there. Defeated by Serve has a chance of healing, so now I can use that to get a little bit of HP back. I'm gonna try and swing around and go from the other side for a bit so I can collect some of this XP up here. Cooldown 10%, sounds great. Peppercorn, Frozen, Magnetic, time between bursts is reduced by 50%. That doesn't sound that useful, but maybe there will be some cooler stuff at the higher levels for it. Magnet, Meteor, Chef's Knife, Attack Speed. I do need that to unlock that, but I think I'd like to level up some of my skills some first. Suction power of the pan, crit, spiced. Let's level up the pan some. The pull effect on that has seemed pretty good so far. And I have a ton of cooldown now as well to combine with all of that. Number of uses, it doesn't sound that useful, but maybe the higher levels will have some cooler stuff. Well, it would be useful if I was using them actively, but like just passively like this, I don't think it really does that much. Number of uses, skill damage. Uh, I'm gonna level this again and see if there's anything cooler. So we're about halfway to the boss now, it looks like. Peppercorn poof, spiced, chef's knife, movement and attack speed but only very rarely, so that doesn't sound that useful. Probably just gonna level this and see if there's anything cooler. Oh, those guys got pulled right into me. Oops. Nitrogen, knife, meteor. Additional smaller spheres in the opposite direction. Okay, that does sound pretty cool. I'm gonna use my ultimate thing to see if I can get some healing off of it. There we go. Back to full HP, not bad. Knife, oven sounds good, sure. Would love to have that one maxed out since that seemed pretty good so far. So having these smaller meteors should also make it a lot easier to get charges for my ultimate as well, since it applies the two debuffs that I need with the meteor. Knife, Nitrogen, Spiced, double damage and double area of effect, and that will also help with the crowd control that it's doing, so that sounds decent. Oh, that's a big explosion at the end there. Almost had some guys get pulled into me there, so I had to dodge out. Serve. Three additional ovens? Holy, that sounds insane.
I am cooking with this build now. Crit, knife, serve, spiced. Uh, none of those sound that interesting. That would help a bit with getting the chop status up. So maybe I should try that. Oops, I didn't even see that guy. Go ahead and use that to try and get some HP back here. Unfortunately, I didn't get a single heart. So, skill damage there. Let's grab the increased freeze chance to help crowd control a bit better. collect all the meta currency I have down here. So every attack does an additional slash. 50, or 30 percent chance of not being consumed sounds pretty good. That will help keep the spice debuff up. Let's see, that looks like the boss since I'm at 3,000 of 3,000 now. He doesn't really seem to be doing anything though. Okay, that was kind of easy. So the oven was doing a lot of work there, 84k. The freezer actually did quite a bit considering I was only using it for CC. The combo ability, not that impressive there. Peppercorn was mainly just to unlock stuff anyways. So let's go to town and see if I have any new stuff. There's supposed to be a lot more classes than you, that you can unlock. But it doesn't really seem like I have any of the meta stuff for any of these. New recipes, eh. Dash cooldown. I don't really even have enough for anything anyways. You get 1% interest, but gold doesn't really ever seem to be the limiting factor, so, uh... I just want some new classes, man! So we got a new map up here. Let's try... Like, you can see over here there's a ton of classes, but it seems to take a while to unlock them. Let's try the Seamstress. So a special dodge that's evasive and offensive. You can dash multiple times, dealing damage to enemies with three charges. Ground Needle is created at the location for every dash, connected by threads. So I can dash around like that and then I have these threads which can do other things depending on which abilities I take. I can also dash through them for damage. Although I just took damage while dashing, what? Number of bounces for the basic attack. 
deals damage. Each defeated enemy has a 5% chance of healing one heart. That sounds pretty useful. In the direction you're aiming will latch onto it and pull you. That sounds like it could be dangerous. Chance of blocking an attack. I'm gonna take this for the healing since I'm kind of taking damage even though I was dashing. So that might be an issue when I'm entirely based around dashes. Skill damage would be decent. That combines with a thing I just got. Prepare for two seconds to receive a buff that guarantees a crit on the next skill. And preparing, you cannot move or do any actions? And dodging cancels it? That sounds awful. I don't think I even want to unlock that then. What? A button that rotates around you dealing damage. Sure, let's try that. Electrify threads that are currently active dealing damage for 4 seconds to enemies that pass through them every 0.5 seconds. That sounds pretty cool. Can unlock a chance to stun on electric or on electric effects. Amount of buttons, throw a giant yarn ball that damages and bounces. One extra charge to style and substance. The electric thing sounds pretty cool. I want sewing snipe to combo with that. Crit, bouncing yarn, button mayhem and reaping cloth. 35% chance to inflict curse. It explodes, dealing damage to enemies around it. That sounds cool. Dash through those guys. Now some of those guys have a little red debuff that will cause AoE damage. Don't think I want that. Three pins in the direction you're aiming, dealing damage, able to pierce through. That's the thing I need for the electricity. And it also combos with the bouncing yarn. Aiming in a straight line, damaging enemies, maximum range it returns to you. Eh, doesn't sound that cool, but I do need it for the stun chance. And it also gets me more threads for the electrify effect as well, which seems nice. Number of buttons, charge of style and substance. I think I'm just gonna grab that. I took damage while dashing again. That seems pretty risky for a character based entirely around dashing. But at least I do have that skill to heal me up. Cutting, bouncing yarn, radius. Uh, I don't think I care that much here. Is there a reroll in this game? It doesn't look like it. I guess I'll just grab the extra charge and then maybe at higher levels I'll get something more interesting here. One additional charge. That might be decent to make some more threads. Skill cooldown would be pretty good. Skill cooldown on the healing thing would be very good. So let's grab that. I could definitely use some more healing with that. I just took damage while dashing again. In the direction you're aiming, enemies on the path. That's the pull thing, probably no. Got static electricity to cause stun on my threads. That sounds pretty good. Just gonna create a gigantic area of electrified threads now. Magnet field, one additional charge. I would like to see some more upgrades for that since it passively creates more threats for me as well, which sounds pretty good. Chance to block, number of bounces for the basic attack, which seems pretty bad. 
creating a new ground needle or hitting an existing one, lightning bolt for 250% around it. That sounds pretty good. I think I might grab this first. Huh. The dash gives you skill damage. Okay. That's pretty good. That'll help me get kills with the healing thing and give me more healing overall. Chance of causing a stun sounds good. Buttons rotate longer sounds pretty good as well. Let's grab the extra stun and see what other upgrades I can get for that. Chance of block, giant scissors. That's the pull thing. Uh, the block sounds decent since I do sometimes take damage while I'm dashing, so that'll help with the survivability on a somewhat risky character. Buttons, number of uses for the healing thing, duration of the shocking threads. 50% increase to something that seems to be wrecking them right now sounds pretty good. Yeah, just took damage while dashing again there. Attack speed, chance of stun. Let's grab that. I will say the crowd control effects in this game feel very strong. But that's not necessarily- I just took damage while dashing again. That's not necessarily a bad thing because in all, a lot of games like this they actually seem fairly weak. Lightning threads on ground needles, dealing 500% to enemies around them. Sure. Block would be pretty good, crit chance, number of uses and cooldown would both be great. I'm kind of curious what other upgrades I can get for this since this is the main thing keeping me alive right now. Looks like we got a chest down here. Curse explosion damage, so better AoE on some of my abilities now. Skill cooldown, attack speed, chance of inflicting curse. Let's grab the cooldown for some more healing and some more crowd control and threat generation. I just took damage while dashing again and I'm almost dead because of that. What? I guess I'm going to stop dashing through them for a while because that seems very risky. Curse would be pretty good AoE. So I'm going to play very defensively until hopefully my skill can heal me up. Because I'm almost dead without even getting hit. Since it's just happening as I'm dashing. I can dash away from them. That seems to be fine. Very fast guy, so that might be a bit risky now. Also, my thread generation is a bit worse if I'm not using my dash as much, so that's pretty annoying. Let's grab the cooldown so I can get some more healing. Okay, so I've healed up a decent amount at least, but I'm still gonna play kind of safe. Dodge speed. I'm curious if this will make my dodge better at avoiding damage. Because I'm taking a lot of damage inside my dodge. 
so maybe that will help with it. Attack speed, style and substance, ground needle, causes a lightning bolt, sounds pretty cool. Got a chest, extra block chance, not bad. So I haven't taken any damage while dodging yet, so maybe that is the key to it. Crit chance, pointy pins, magnetic, one charge of style and substance. Does that give me weapon and skill damage? It's okay, but it's not really exciting. I think I'll just grab this and see if I get anything cooler at a higher level. So we're about halfway to the boss now. Calls lightning bolt as it travels, that sounds cool. Red suit damage in shorter intervals. I think that's one of my best skills though, so I should probably take that one. And then that will also make it stun even more often, since it's based on hitting with it. Bigger and more powerful lightning bolts on ground needles. Sounds pretty cool. Style and substance. Crit chance. Let's take that. Get some big lightning bolts going on. Oh yeah, pretty cool. Attack speed, block, cause lightning bolts as it travels. Sure. Block, lightning bolts on ground needles created by dodging dealing 250%. Sounds good. Yeah, I haven't taken any damage while dodging since I took the speed increase. So I guess you need that to make the character function properly for some reason. I can't imagine you'd have a dodge relying character and then you just randomly almost die when you're dodging through enemies. That just doesn't really seem to work mechanically. One charge to the dash. Number of bounces, block. I'm gonna grab some more survivability just in case. But it doesn't seem as necessary now, thankfully. Something was slapping me from kind of long range over there. Giant ball that bounces. One additional charge and hitting a ground needle cause a bigger and more powerful lightning bolt. Skill damage by 50%. That does sound very cool, but this will help out with my healing. So that also sounds extremely useful. I actually took damage while dodging there, so I guess the increased speed just makes it a lot less likely. But healing definitely seems extremely important on this character. And the block thing actually seems pretty helpful as well. Only be hit by the skill to give a chance of healing. Okay, that would be a big increase to the healing. Let's grab that. 
so now it doesn't have to get the killing blow to get the healing. Alright, got a bit of a bullet hell going on now with all those rage tanks. Hitting an existing needle cause a bigger and more powerful lightning bolt sounds great. Cutting, crit chance, pull. Number of bounces. I don't think I like any of these. Probably just take the crit. My basic attack isn't really relevant, so yeah, just the stat boost here. Magnet, Sewing Journey, Attack Speed. Don't want to pull myself since that sounds pretty risky, so probably just the Attack Speed and I can unlock Skill Damage there. I took damage while dashing there again. Skill damage 30% is quite good. Real ring, eh. Skill damage 30% sounds great. It looks like the boss is here now. Oh god, that almost hit me. Try and get a bunch of threads through him for the bonus damage. It's a big lightning bolt on him. And he's dead. So we've got huge damage from these shocking threads, and those were also stunning a lot of enemies as well. Big carry there. Reaping Cloth was seemed necessary for all the healing it was doing. Button Mayhem, I didn't really invest very much into that, so that's kind of low. Sewing Snipe is low, but it was also creating threads and lightning bolts and stuff. So that was actually improving shocking threads a bit as well. Got about 20k from the dodge ability. See if I can get anything in the town now. What are these? Field material, material drop, gold. Alright, let's see if I can get anything in the town now. I still have nothing, I just want the new classes, man! Oh, I have new mail? I don't know if that actually does anything, seems like it's just lore. Retrieve necessary materials to get the forge running. I mean, that's kind of what I've been trying to do, man. I'm not even sure which the forge is. Must be that. But I already have some levels on it. So yeah, that's crafty survivors. Overall, it's a fairly basic Survivors, but the main draw to it, I think, is the very cool classes it has. The Chef, lots of debuffs and AoE effects. Building up his ultimate that can then do a large burst of damage and heal you. You got the offensive dodge and creating ground needles and stuff. 
With the Sculptor, you create stationary statues and then you hit them to cause bonus damage and unique effects when they're completed. But that's going to be it for now. If you liked the video, leaving me a like or a subscribe would be greatly appreciated. But that's going to be all for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.